In the preceding videos, we've given you a laundry list of things you can do with lists. It's time to take a pause and use some of these capabilities. Let's write a function named unique values that gets a list of integers as its parameter and returns a new list with the unique values in that list. For example, if given these numbers, it will return this list where each number appears exactly once. Let's plan out our program. We'll start with our original list and an empty result list. We look at each number in turn. If it's not in the result list yet, then we'll append it to the result list. That will also be the case for the next number, 7, and the third item, 55. When we get to our fourth item, because 7 is already in the list, we don't append it, and we proceed to the next item, which isn't in the result list and gets appended to the end. Once we've finished traversing the input list, the result list will have the unique values and we can return that list. Here's the starting point for our code. I've put a pass in the function on line 8 so that it will compile and run, and so far it prints our original number list. So far so good. Let's get rid of the pass and start writing our code. We'll set the result list to the empty list and then use a for loop to go through each item in turn in the number list. If the item is not in result, we'll append it to the result list. Otherwise, there's nothing to do and we'll pass. Once the for loop is finished, we return the result. Be careful with the indenting. We want this statement to be outside the for loop, not inside it. Now it's time to call our function. We'll set a list called uniques to be the result of calling unique values with our list of numbers. And we'll print the result. Let's run the program. And there's our function that uses some of what we've learned about lists.